everyone. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth TV. The battle for the internet rages on as the power-hungry elite are now set to go head-to-head -head with the online community. People all over the world are waking up to the corruption that is all around us in incredible numbers. They are no longer tuning into their televisions for information, but rather are going online to get informed. And the puppet string pullers on the global stage need to gain back the control of the distribution of information. However, their bold attempt at a takeover of the internet was recently halted when the PIPA and SOPA bills were shelved as a direct result of the online community raising awareness about those bills, which led to massive boycotts and blackouts. But while all this was going on, the even more troublesome ACTA treaty was quietly being pushed through by the powers that be. ACTA stands for the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement. Drafting this treaty has been an ongoing process over the last four years, and each and every meeting has been done behind closed doors. Late last year, a number of nations signed a new global copyright agreement known as the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement, or ACTA. Signatories include the United States, Canada, Japan, Australia, South Korea, and, as of this past week, 22 member states of the European Union. The consequences we have to deal with are internet censorship, restricted freedom of speech, loss of net neutrality due to the restrictions of the use of certain protocols, total surveillance of all your online activities, loss of freedoms and restriction of civil rights, punishment like losing your internet access, and we will gain nothing. Under this new treaty, internet service providers would be forced to disclose your information to the authorities if you are accused of pirating copyrighted material. ISPs normally need a court order in order to remove content from their servers. However, under the ACTA treaty, they would be obliged to censor the internet. You see, they are once again trying to have us believe that this is all about taking down websites like Pirate Bay in order to protect copyrighted material when in fact this has everything to do with taking over the internet and controlling the flow of information which defines who we are. Under the ACTA treaty, all communications will be tracked and monitored in order to weed out the dissenters. In fact, at the Canadian border, US and Canadian border protection agents already have the ability to conduct random searches on electronic devices for information containing terrorism. The problem is that their definition of terrorism is so broad that it can and will include not only members of the alternative media, but also anyone who challenges their system. We know that order out of chaos is their modus operandi, so we could see a false flag attack in the form of a cyber threat in order to guarantee the passing of ACTA. We will work with all the key players, including state and local governments and the private sector, to ensure an organized and unified response to future cyber incidents. Given the enormous damage that can be caused by even a single cyber attack, ad hoc responses will not do. Uh, nor is it sufficient to simply strengthen our defenses after incidents or attacks occur. Just as we do for natural disasters, we have to have plans and resources in place beforehand, sharing information, issuing warnings, and ensuring a coordinated response. So as the battle for the internet continues to rage on, always remember that in this pyramidal structure of control, it is we the people who make up the base and therefore have all the power. So let's do everything we can to raise awareness about ACTA, just as we did with the PIPA and SOPA bills. Share this video. Inform your friends and your family members that we are currently at a crossroads in regards to the direction the internet may go. So it is entirely up to us to maintain our free and open internet.